So today I'll be sharing with you the introduction to remote tasks. So we shall be seeing and watching answering the questions about the security threat. So the definition here is uh, security threat definition an event or condition that has the potential for causing assets loss and the undesirable consequences or impact from such losses. So data breaches. One of the biggest security threats and can lead to a negative financial impact on the company and its reputation. So here they are trying to talk about uh, what security threat is all about. So this one is an event whereby uh, which can cause a potential loss or undesirable consequences or impact on a certain business or particular something. So data breaches, one of the biggest security threats and can lead to a negative financial impact on the company and its reputation. So on companies, when a data breach happens, uh, this one can cause a lot of damage financially and the reputation of the country, of the company, sorry. So we shall continue to the next one. So I'll be summarizing this uh, this course, the introduction to remote tasks course. So this one is all about security and it has uh, 14. It has 14. So you can take notes. Uh, if you are able to take notes, you can take notes. So another thing, you can go ahead to open this one in uh, another window, for example here. So that when you're doing the exam, just in case you fail to remember, you can go back and refer to this other section. So meanwhile, tips to prevent uh, phishing. One of the most common methods that cyber criminal use is to gain access to your account and sensitive information. So this is phishing. So here, these uh, guys, uh, we call them cyber criminals, hackers. They will try to get access to your information on your account so that they can enter into your account so that they can take anything they feel like. Definition, a method of trying to gather sensitive information using descriptive emails or websites, free stuff, business opportunities, or even a warning email. So these guys may come deceiving you in a form of emails or they will try to convince you in any other way so that you can do what they can gain access to your information so here we go uh, here these are the tips they are trying to give you so don't trust unsociated emails uh, filter your spam then install always uh, antivirus and firewall program and keep them up to date so another thing don't click on unknown links in messages and also don't open email att uh, attachments from strangers or unknown uh, or unknown contacts so if you want to verify you can use this website it has been given to you here so we shall continue with the next session meanwhile at is, as it is loading All right, guys, let's continue. Then malware. We shall talk about malware here. Uh, this one is a malicious software that uh, cyber criminals use to steal sensitive data, user credentials, financial information, EDC tips, uh, suspicious files, unauthorized software, up-to-date antivirus software. So malware, this one can come... Uh, uh, with uh, other softwares for example if you use a lot of pirated software stuff like that so you can get a malware which can steal your user credentials or financial information so these softwares uh, uh, the pirated software stuff like that so they embed within that malware which can take or steal your data so tips you have to use a uh, you have to avoid the uh, suspicious files, unauthorized software, up-to-date antivirus. Always update your antivirus. So we shall continue to the next slide, guys. So another thing here, we have to continue. Uh, it's still loading the slide. I've skipped number four. I'll go back. So I'll go back a bit. It was still loading.
uh, depending on your internet connection as always so password security yeah so password security don't use the same passwords guys have a mix of letters numbers and symbols at least add asterisks add hash add those things use a password manager at least also you can use a randomly generated password never write down share or email your password never never share it with anyone don't save passwords in browsers anyone can access your device or can pick don't 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 share them uh don't automatically save those browser uh, passwords in your browser don't use personal uh identifiable information in your password change your passwords regularly keep changing once in a while once in a month like that use a multiple factor authentication so don't use these such passwords like one two three four five because everyone knows those passwords then always change change those passwords uh a good example of a password is here as you can see this one ah uh, j u a q i t c three question mark four plus b w g x six p b t such a password it's very hard to encrypt uh to decrypt that password so one password uh you can use uh, different passwords like that so we shall continue so another thing removable media useful tools that enable malware to bypass your network best security defenses malware can be installed and configured to executable with auto run or have an attractive file name to trick people into clicking removable media can also steal data install ransomware or even destroy the computer malicious removable media can be uh disturbed through public uh, distributed through public events or handed out on the street for free so never connect untrusted removable media into any of your devices if you don't trust a flash disk please don't call it an sd card please don't disable auto run on all computers uh this system whereby you insert a pen drive or a usb flash disk and your computer auto runs it directly the, have to disable that system scanning the untrusted removable media with antivirus software first if you install a flash disk or anything first scan it with your antivirus guys so those are the tips which will help you to avoid getting ransomware uh and other viruses so we shall go for social networking dangers social networking dangers another way that cyber criminals use to gain access of sensitive data uh, to prevent the loss of critical data practice the following tips so these are the things which you must do if you if you want to avoid losses or cyber criminal to get into your data don't reveal sensitive personal information please avoid revealing personal sensitive information don't post share discuss or mention any information or projects that you are working on never never share any information on projects that you are working on so we shall head to our next slide uh, this is uh, slide number seven so we are mining with seven more so that we can we can kick it off so here we shall be talking about physical security and environment controls uh, security risks don't just occur on the web never leave passwords on piece of paper so someone can pick that piece of paper see my password on the back side so that one you'll have given everyone a password uh, leave your computer unattended while being away if you leave your computer on someone can come in your browser if you've saved passwords then he'll check your passwords so never leave your computer unattended uh, leave sensitive data or information open on your computer if you leave a project open like this someone will just come pop into direct your pc check whatever it feels like checking go away with data so those ones are all physical ways of getting data if you leave your computer unattended too and other things like that so another thing we shall talk about data management and privacy 
you have an obligation to keep all remote tasks data confidential. So these things must be kept confidential. Never share them. Never make copies of remote data tasks. Don't share remote task data on social media. Ensure that you are in a private setting when working. Make sure you are alone. Don't discuss sensitive information regarding the remote tasks uh, data or the projects. Don't download, transmit, copy, or distribute any remote tasks material externally, including no screenshots or photo. Do not maintain any records or logs no printing any remote tasks data don't send anything to your personal email address and don't store or save anything on personal device or with third-party cloud storage providers so all those ones are not allowed so guys we shall head to the next slide this one is uh the ninth one so other useful tips, uh, other you useful tips, uh, tips which we shall be talking about about remote tasks. Always keep your remote task account private and secret. Never, never share your account with any third parties. Avoid using other websites that are not from remote tasks. The correct domain name in remote task is here as display www.remotetasks.com. So for any information, you can email to check the fake remote tasks things like that the screenshot is shown here on the screen uh, to help you differentiate between the original and the fake one so go ahead and check clearly before you sign up with any remote tasks so another thing here uh we are done with uh, the slide so 10 we are going to see the pop-up quiz so that we can answer what we've learned uh security 10 out of 14 true or false you should never install unauthorized software to your computer this is true you should never install unauthorized software to your pc so you don't know where it is from so never install it this one it is true then we shall click check the answer we see if we are correct so true this correct answer installing unauthorized software to your computer can put your computer at a great risk of cyber attacks let's continue with another one security 11 out of 14 which of the following is considered a strong password so here we are going to check for a strong password and we see which one is very strong so as you can see this one winter it doesn't have anything uh, like uh, special characters it only has uh, numbers then we have this one this one is almost same like this one there is a yeah so this one is somehow strong because it has special characters but it's not long enough so this one is the strongest password we shall go with this question with this answer I'll click on check answer so that we can be marked yes our password should be uh, should contain a maximum of letters numbers symbols and should be random so we are correct so we shall continue to another one so this one is all about remote tasks uh, you guys you can make some little money with remote tasks you can go ahead open an account you can start earning online something by doing some tasks so your friend is also a tasker. Your friend wants to learn more about the tasks you are working on. Can you tell your friend about it? Yes, you can tell him. Uh, you can tell your friend, though you shouldn't share anything confidential. Your friend is a, also a tasker. Your friend wants to learn more about the tasks you are working on. Can you tell your friend about it? Mm, this one is a bit challenging here. Uh, your friend is also a tasker. So we can say no because he's also a tasker. He has been learning. So we don't need to tell him anything. We are not supposed to share. No. This, this is the correct answer. You should always keep the information from your tasker phone confident and private. As you can see, we are correct. We passed that one also. So we shall continue with the next question. 
because that uh, that person is also a tasker. If he's a new person, you're trying to show him well and fine, but he has also been doing the same. So you don't need to tell him. You have to keep the uh, the things private. You are working on a very cool project and you want to share it on your social media, but you are not disclosing any confidential information about the project. Can you post it? No, you're not supposed to post anything on social media. So we shall check the answer so that we can continue. You should never share So, true or false, phishing emails are fake emails that appear to come from a trusted sender. Yes. Um, phishing emails are fake emails. So, we can go back here and refer a bit to this one, uh, to this question about the emails. You can see here. Uh, one of the most common methods that cyber criminals use to gain access is your account and sensitive information definition. A method of trying to gather sensitive information using descriptive emails or websites, free stuff, businesses, opportunities, or even warning emails. Unassociated emails, your spam and virus, unknown links, messages, email attachments from strangers or unknown contacts. No. So these ones come from unknown contacts. True or false, phishing emails are fake emails that appear to come from a trusted friend. Yes. True. So we shall check the answer. Hope we've passed. Yes. 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 They are fake emails that come from anyone, including people you trust, if their account was hacked. Correct. So we can continue to the next question. So that worries overview of remote tax. Proceed to the project training, which is your next step. So these are some of the things which you go through uh, before you start working with remote tasks. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be I'll be sharing more information about remote tasks, how you can join so that you can also benefit from these tasks.